Hi, this is Tim here from AACC. I hope you're doing well. Um, I'm, I'm putting together a quick video for um, my introduction to robotics students uh, who are having a hard time with Robot C. Um, I'll just give you a quick example. He, this is a, a, an industrial robot from ABB, and you can see we have um, uh, you know, a vacuum end effector on the end of the robot. This robot has six rotational joints. One in the base, two, three in the shoulder, four, five, six. Okay, so this robot has six rotational joints. And all, all we're trying to do is you might have a robot that is just two, but I'm going to show you how to do one properly. Okay, so this is a very simple uh, joint in, made out of VEX components. And we need to make sure, we, we want to be able to control the position of this arm. So this is the base, and then our, our other member is bolted to the large gear. Okay, so how, do I, how does this work? I have a motor, I have a small gear, I have a large gear, and I have a pot or a potentiometer. The pot helps us measure the position of the arm. Without the pot, we're kind of blind. You know, with the motor, we can drive it clockwise or we can drive it anti-clockwise, okay? So we have a small gear connected to a very, very large gear because we want, to take the, we want to take that and we want to convert it to as much torque as possible. I also don't want this thing to be running too fast. So we have a small gear going to a big gear, which is going to give us plenty of torque, okay? The, the potentiometer is um, analog, and that's connected to the analog ports on our, micro, our VEX microcontroller, and then our motor is connected via a motor controller to our motor ports on the microcontroller, okay? So, let me, uh, this is, let me see if I can help you see it. This is robot C, and this is going to be our code, very, very simple. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to press stop here real quick. I have a debugger window open, so I can actually, I can actually see what the, the reading of the pot is, okay? So you can see now, hopefully you can see that it's changing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to back drive this, this motor here. So I'm, I'm, with my hands, I'm driving it very, very slowly. And you can see there that it's changing, okay? So what is it? It's 1750. I'm going to drive it anti-clockwise. And now it's back to 450. Okay, that's what it looks like there. Now, if I run this program, I want it to, the magic number is around 1800, okay? Now, at 1800, it should be pretty, uh, uh, it should be close to 90 degrees, okay? So what I'll do is uh, let's run this and see what happens. Okay? There it is. That's 1800. Now, what I could do is if I want to change that, I could change that number to 1700, or what I can do is using the debugger window, I can find a number that I want, and that will give us the position of the arm, okay? So let's have a look. Let's have a look at the code. So if I want to, if I want to get the position of the arm, or I want, to, if I want to move it to a certain position, I'm just going to record this value, whatever the pot is. Now, this while loop is going, is continuously cycling through this code until I turn the microcontroller off. Okay. So in order to do this, all I need are these, you know, ten lines of code. Uh, where did I get the 1850 for? Okay, I'll give you. I'll give you an example. We don't want 1850 is roughly around 90 degrees. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll stop this. And let's say we want this to be. What's that? That's about. Let's make it 180. All right, there we go. Let's say that's our wannabe position. Okay? So we want this to be around 100. And, so what is it giving it to me? It's giving it to me. It's giving me 340. So this is going to be my number now. I'm going to change this to be. If it's less than 340, it's going to drive it in this direction, clockwise. If it's greater than, I'm going to make this 360 and you'll see why, or I'm going to make it 380. Okay? I'm going to save that, and I'm going to, I'm going to compile and download. And there it is. I'm going to move this arm. Okay, now hopefully when I run this, it's going to go to 180 degrees. So I'll start it. And it should stop. Now look at it, it's oscillating back and forth, back and forth. Why is that? Look at these numbers here. 
okay? It's going under, it's going under 340 and then it's going over 380. So what's happening is it's, go, it's, it's cycling back and forth. Look at it oscillating like that, okay? So what do I need to do? I need to make these numbers a little bit bigger. So I'll stop that and I'll make this 320 and let's save that and see does it work. Okay, I, I'm after turning it off. Let's kind of move it out of the out of the way, and let's run it again. And then it just cycles a little bit. Okay, so I'm using two wire loops. Um, if it's less than three twenty, I want it to drive clockwise. If it's greater than three eighty, I want it to drive it anti-clockwise. And what it will do it the between dry, using the two wire loops, it'll 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 find its position between 320 and 380. I hope I haven't confused you too much. Okay, what's important? Um, you need a motor. You need a potentiometer. You need a small gear going to a large gear. Um, I'm using standoffs there to rigidize this 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 um, I don't know what you'd call it. This part of the arm. Um, you know the code is pretty simple. So um, if you've got questions, I'll be there to help you. Thanks.